Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel, my name's Claire and I'm the creator of Buttercup Creations Art. So how are you all doing? I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. So I got asked um, with my Harry Potter journal, I got asked um, where did I get the witch's broom from, which I've put on the front, but I actually created it myself. So I'm just going to show you, it is so simple, it's amazing how it will turn out. Um, and whenever you fancy making a Harry Potter book or a witch's book, you know, you'll know how to do it. <laughs> so here we go. Let me just make sure I am filming. I am indeed. So all that you need is the end of a paintbrush. All I've done is I've got some old tatty paintbrushes and I've just removed the, pulled off the, um, metal bit. I don't know if I've got another one. Yes, I have. So it's like them there. I mean, they were cheap and nasty, absolutely rubbish to use. So I just snap it off, and then that end will pull off, like so. So there. And then I've got some burlap as well, which I will create the strawy bit at the end. And then some of this is um, florist wire. Um, I got mine in Hobbycraft. Um, they do all different uh, different colours and this one jumped out at me ages and ages ago and didn't know what I was going to use it for but I found a purpose so absolutely fantastic. I got some of these. It's just to crimp in the wire so you've got no jaggedy bits. A Sharpie pen and then some ink dye. You don't have to use the ink dye but I just really fancied it. Um, and you can use any colour. So if you've got green, anything to your hand, bring it on out. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some Fabri-Tac and glue away. Right, so first of all, I just take some of this off, as you do, and then I wrap this around I've obviously got a bit too much but every little bit helps and then I'll we'll just take that bit off discarded them because I've got no use for them I'm just going to get my scissors and snip that off like so oh fingers caught then and I'm just going to shred just along here, just so it gives it that little bit of an effect, like that. Okay, so the next job to do, so I'm just taking a couple more off of there. That's what I like about burlap. So easy to unravel. I'm just going to add some glue to here. So I'm just going up halfway to start it off as you do just wind a bit of glue around there like that I'm just going to take some of this off here just in case it starts at the bottom like it's so oh it's figgly and it is sticky it's a definitely a messy job so I'm just gonna bound it up nice and tight like so and then up through there get that a bit tighter and I'm just going to add some more glue up along here and I'm not going to completely wind it because the next job is to get some good old wire on the end first I felt you a minute ago where are you there get some wire I'm going to get a nice good bit because you can cut off any excess I want it to wind around and just put the lid back on the glue and then just going to go in with my pincers and at one end I'm just going to create a loop so this is where it will hang 
I'm just going to twist that around there. Okay, nice. Spiral. And then I'm just going to pinch that in. Because I've got no sticky out bits. Like she says, like so. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that out to the top. So you've got your loop so you can hang it off your journals or on the side of your journal. And then I'm just going to carry on gluing around. I want the, this end to be the bulkiest part. Now, as you do. <laughs> A bit more glue there. So obviously, I let mine dry a little bit before I do the inking on it, but this is for a video. So, and then with the wire, I'm just going to go around like so, creating a spiral effect. And then, make sure that's stuck in. Squeeze that a bit more. So that's that bit done. And then all I do is I get a bit more of this and I just round it around the top there just to give it a little bit more of a bulk. You don't have to do that, obviously. But I'm just going to do a little bit more. So obviously I want more straw effect on the top. Make sure I'm still filming. I'm still filming. So yeah, this is only going to be a quick video. <laughs> the bar. Oh, hold on. Let me just press pause a sec. Sorry, just had to shut the bedroom curtain. Because somebody has found her voice big time. Okay, so all I'm going <laughs> to just measure that up because I don't want it covering our wire. So I need to take a couple more strands off. Yes, very noisy. So tomorrow night is the night that my daughter will get to see her journal. So I'm very excited about that. So I'm off into town later. So I thought I'd get some video in done. I've been really prepared today. I've done houseware, done coffee dyeing for my new two custom journals I've got. One is Steampunk Grunge Electric, um, which I'm excited to do because I've never, ever tried that style before. So very exciting. And then a wedding one. Um, so I have got this paper for the wedding one because her shoes are similar colour to these um, irregular choice shoes. But she says all floral and everything like that and butterflies. But she's a music teacher as well. So she didn't actually say that. 
So it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for her. As long as she's not watching this video, I hope. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm really excited at doing that. I've got some bits coming for the steampunk slash electric grunge. So I've got some bits coming for that. I've already started doing the front cover, which I'm really excited about because it is, I'm impressed with it. <laughs> completely different from what I normally do but obviously it's still got my embroidery on there so yes very excited so busy coffee dyeing paper this morning done all the housework hung the washing out because I'm not going to say it just in case I jinx it um we've got Dab a bit on there and around there. So that's that bit. I am just going to leave that around there, make sure it's nice and flat. And then normally you let it dry. So whilst that's drying quickly, I will, so there's your little hook there. All I'm going to do is I'm going to dye the bottom half and then use the Sharpie for the little added magic to it. Right, let me find my brush for this colour. I've got to label these. I've got a little... um my digital labeler so I really need to use it so that's that I'm just gonna go in amongst that okay so that's that bit done and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw the lines around like if it was engraved like a broomstick so this is the fiddly part so I'm just going to do one line around there I mean if you wanted to you could actually use um, brass rings you know like for jewellery making if you fancied And then one more down here. So the best thing about Sharpie is it becomes permanent and it stays, which is a blessing in disguise. Ooh, that was a bit wonky, Claire. And then one more below it. There we go. So <laughs> that's how simple it is. And as you see, with the Sharpie, it doesn't rub off. So is that dry? Oh, that's dry. That's the best thing about that fabric glue. It dries so quickly. I mean, you can, if you want, um, coffee dye it if you don't have the inks so I'm just gonna just go up there keep dyeing my hands I might actually use a little bit of green as well she says oh, here comes the monster so this one is Forest Moss. That one was Walnut Stain.
And there you go, guys. So here is one witch's broom. Let me just make sure I'm in shot. <laughs> So it's that simple to do, and then you've got your little hook on the top to do. I mean, if you'd like, if somebody's into that sort of stuff, you could actually create it as a normal keychain for somebody. But just like that, perfect. <laughs> now I've got to find the little witch to sit on there. <laughs> right, so there you go, guys. That's that one completed. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it gives you ideas on if you're doing a witch theme journal or a harry potter journal um and it gives you something um what was i going to say it gives you an inspiration to get crafting and use the most simplest objects going i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll catch you on the next video happy crafting everyone bye